Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Eric Colasar with New Vision USA, and I'm here to introduce uh, many of you know that Bars and Planetary Healing. We, she has been developing planetary perception, which is a really cool new tray um, uh, folder works at Constant Module um, that we're going to release on June 22nd, and the training is included. Um, so here to tell you a little bit more about the module is Deb McBride herself. Thank you, Eric. Um, as Eric said, I've been working on this for a while. This is another module that John Cook and I had developed while we were using the core system. Um, this content module for Envision is to help the practitioner focus on and help clear the client's field. Um, I like it because it gives the client a protocol to go home and review that they can use and feel that they are participating in the session even after the session is over. Um, these items can help evoke a healing response or give the client an epiphany. Uh, the client can reflect upon and continue the healing after the session is ended, and they feel like they have some clearer, uh, clearer um, picture of what's going on in their field. I think it's helpful for the practitioner because they can get to see sort of the emotional things that are going on around them um, and sort of help clear those if necessary. Um, this does focus more on life direction and emotional areas rather than physical ailments. Um, it also includes guidelines, a guideline section for directing the practitioner through the session. Um, so we begin and we have, as you can see here, we have the arts. There is a number of sections that relate to the arts, there's one that's just paintings, um, there's one for literature, there's one for movies, music, and quotations. And the paintings are just a list of paintings, and if the client can sort of view them, if they can see them at a museum or, or see them in a picture book or online, mostly the quickest way is to look at the picture online, they can get a, a real a handle on sort of a, the emotional barometer of the painting and what, how it evokes something in them, how it makes them feel. The same thing with a movie, a piece of literature. It could be a poem, a sonnet, or a book that they may have read or perhaps that they don't know anything about. Um, with these sections, I think it's really important for them to sort of be open-minded, even if it's a piece of music or movie that they don't particularly care for. Um, Maybe they just need to read a synopsis or read the lyrics to the song online. Um, but it should evoke something, and it does give the practitioner an idea of what's going on in the person's field. The quotations are helpful because it sort of is a summing up of what the client may be going through or feeling right now. Um, there's an answer section, which helps the practitioner uh, get yes or no answers, get authentic answers. Um, just a pendulum answer. It helps direct the session a little bit. There's the language section, which contains names for boys, a tray for girls. There are words in the sections of nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. And again, these are just for getting names or descriptive words that may be helpful to the client and get a sense for the practitioner of what, again, is going on in the field. The location. Um, I like this because it is a tray full of cities and countries, and whatever regions come up can be uh, a story for the client or healing for the client. Um, it may not be necessary for them to move or visit there, but it is some connection to the land and that culture. It may be something that they relate to from a film they saw. It could be a relative went to visit there, and they told a very lively, inspiring story about that area. Um, so there is a connection in their fields at that time. Direction is all compass longitudes and latitudes. So this is more specifically the longitude latitude, which could be in the middle of the ocean as opposed to the location, which is always just cities and countries. Um, again, this is for understanding the areas where the lines fall or a region where there, something may be affecting a person. And this could be chemtrails, toxicities. It could be any news from that region that they might be hearing that could be inspiring to them or disturbing them, disturbing their fields at the time. Or it could be, again, a region that they may want to visit or they've heard a story about something that they could potentially find inspiring. Um, humor. I call this section humor and absurdity because 
I feel laughter can raise consciousness, and a lot of the jokes and humorous statements in this section are just completely absurd. They come from, um, you know, sources that are clearly from the realm of the absurd. I called these from uh, comedians, old jokes, TV shows, Monty Python, different sources, um, and that was a lot of fun. Guidelines is um, something that helps the practitioner direct the session. It uh, reveals how much karmic debt there is, how much fate or free will. There's a percentage uh, scale in, this, in that tray. Um, it could be the scale of emotional stress. There's a variety of guidelines to help through the session. There's database category, um, which I like because it helps direct the session to which folder in the entire Envision system could be tested. So you can use this throughout the session. You could use it to start the session. You could use it if you are stuck in the session and you just need uh, the next direction of where to go. Um, and then there's calendar time, which is exactly what it says it is. It's different sets for testing days, weeks, months, years, centuries time periods. Um, there are also two folders called Generation and Lineage. And we worked hard on these um, because we wanted to get them very specific. The generation set leads to how many generations prior in the mother or father's family where the issue is rooted. So it could show the father's family six generations before female or the mother's, gener mother's family two generations before male. And it's doesn't specifically pick a relative, but you know that it's either a woman or a man in that family period, um, an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, a grandmother, a grandfather. Um, the lineage set is different from the generation set. This is calling up a specific grandmother or grandfather right through the generations. And this one gets a little confusing when reading it, but it's sort of the only way to be specific about that. Um, mothers, fathers, mothers, mothers, father is just one example. It's a bit of a tongue twister, but it actually serves a, a good purpose in uh, sort of calling the information about the history of the family. There's also a coaching and strategy section that um, helps uh, bring inspirational people, lists of inspirational people that could be helpful for the client, and things such as, you know, when to take action, when to not take action. Um, in a specific thing that the client is asking about. Um, we are having a training on June 22nd, and that's going to be a three-hour training. So if you want to sign up for that, you can do it right here at the New Vision USA site. Uh, the cost of the training and the Planetary Perceptions module is 375 and we do encourage watching the training before using the module. Um, Eric, do you have any questions? Well, I just wanted to comment on how much information is in there because I've actually had the opportunity to see um, how much information there is, huge, huge, huge amounts of information. And the really neat thing from my perspective is that we actually get the client a doable action. So we actually see, we see different things, but like on a soul level, an emotional level, we get, we give the client something to walk away with a doable action but then they can go and access the field that we're reconnecting to, it's like a pathway in. So it may be um, to think about a humor section or a piece of a painting or literature or a movie, but that may invoke mm -hmm. many, many different things for that person. And, it, and remember, I don't know if everybody knows, remember the example, but if everybody's been in the room where we close our eyes and we all imagine a pair of shoes, everybody comes up with a different pair of shoes. The shoes are right. giving you that access into it, but that shoes, you may get dorky slippers and maybe high heels or basketball or whatever it is, but that painting, literature, movie, music, whatever it may mean is, is completely different than what your perception of it. And that's why I think it's so, um, it's a very neat name, planetary perception. So um, I'm, I'm excited about it, and I think there'll be, um, it'll give the practitioner Again, doable actions for the clients or for themselves for things that they're on the regular using system on. So, Deb, can we see just a little preview of uh, the folders that you've created? Certainly. Um, and and the training is going to have we're going to have um, we're going to have case studies, a uh, couple case studies, and, and yes. more background and everything. Yes, absolutely. Okay. That's what we're going to 
going to do that as well, like we did back in the winter with the planetary healing training. Um, yes, we will have some case studies, people discussing this, and uh, what those films or uh, literature pieces may mean to them um, and what this information means to them. So here's a, here's a peek. You can see all the trays are here. Um, there's a good amount of them. As Eric says, there's an enormous amount of information here. Um, in answers, you'll see there's four different trays. There's the yes and no answers. There's the authenticity, the truth level, the past, present, future tray, uh, or the pendulum effect. These are small trays, but they give very specific answers. Um, did you did you open? We're not seeing. Did you open the arrow? Up? Did I? Is this is the drop down? We're seeing this plan. Yes, I did. Question. Okay, I'm seeing answers. Uh, I see four trays. Okay. So I've got and it open. Yes. Do you see it? We do not. But um, let's see. Um, Oh, there we go. So it's just updated. Um, so this this is a little preview of um, the different folders. And um, actually, the week before, two weeks before, we'll have you. We'll, we'll do uh, a, a weekly call. We'll have you on, and we'll actually preview. Um, we're still refining. It takes a tremendous amount of time and energy um, to get these up to date. But on the week before, we'll have a, a, a live demo, and then you can run somebody. Um, see what what comes up on different people because it's very interesting. So, any final comments or um, thoughts, Deb? Um, just saying that I think this is a really exciting development, and I think it can be very useful for the client and the practitioner. And um, I can't stress enough how important it is, like Eric said, for the person to have a doable task to walk away, sort of a homework assignment when they walk away from the session and they really feel like they're participating. So I am really excited about it. It's a lot of information, and I'm very much looking forward to talking to all the practitioners about it. Very good. And if you could just flip back to the other screen, if, if you have, there is Deb's contact information. If you do have any questions, um, you can call her or uh, send her an email. And um, this page is live on New Vision USA. It's under... Um, all of our information is there it's at the very bottom. So if you do have any questions about it, uh, thoughts or concerns or congratulations or whatever you want to talk to her for any reason, uh, she's available. She'd be happy to answer any questions. And we hope to see you on the 22nd. And um, you can go ahead and sign up now. We reserve your spot. So hope to talk to you then, and um, have a great day. Thanks for watching.